This is Erica Chablis with another tutorial. Let's do it. These are some five by sevens that I made. Um, that one's a little bit less than the five by seven, but these here are the five by sevens. And I made these with paper. And then these here, the cardstock. So cute. And then inside a couple of these, I did embroider. Here's one that says thanks. I'm actually giving this to the PTO ladies because they are the ones responsible for me having I am so in love with this this new tool it's called uh, envelope punch board and I was able to get it because my PTO at my campus gave us a $25 gift card in 2021 and then they gave us one in 2022 it was both $25 and it covered the cost of that and I held them to the card for some reason and I'm so glad I did because now I have this so cool that was embroidered with a what stitch is that i think it was a bean stitch i can't remember yeah anyway i tried a couple of stitches and i'll go over that later one stitch um did not work in the paper tour but this stitch here does and i'll leave a link in the description where i got that one from the line stitches work beautifully so if you find a line stitch that you want that one works beautiful. I have not um, tried the applique ones, um, but I will. But for this tutorial, we're gonna work with a line stitch, like this one here. I'm gonna repeat this this one here so you can see how that works. All right, let's do it. The one that I'm gonna show today is how I did this one here. And this one was actually just, um, done on paper and then attached to the card so I'm going to do that with the elephant and make it just a little bit different from from this one this one here which I love 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 um you have the stitch in here showing and I could easily put some paper here but I'm going to try this version here for this tutorial where we're gonna embroider on the card, attach it to the um, the card paper, and then we're gonna make the envelope. All right, let's do it. So this size here is five by seven. This card here, or is it? No, it's a little bit less than five by seven. Let's measure that. I should have, I did keep a card, let me see. <clears throat> Maybe I can show that too. Uh, let me see. Yes, I'm about to show that. Ha! This is going to be some more in this tutorial. Let me show you how that works. All right. I'm going to take this piece of paper, this 12 by 12, and they have this extra on the end. So I'm going to cut that off first. Stick in my cutter. Get really close. I want to make sure this is a 12 by 12 sheet before I start showing you how to get those paper squares uh, let's see all right all i did here was cut off that edge and now i actually have a 12 by 12. this little extra at the end is not accounted for the 12 by 12. so i'm gonna get rid of that taking this sheet of paper you're gonna go to the five and i'm on this little cutter here and I'm gonna to go to the five, right there. To start, I'm gonna go on the five line, right there on the five, this paper's on the five, and these numbers here, there's where the five is. And let me move my cutter down. All right, I'm gonna to go to the five. What are we gonna do here is we're gonna make four or five by seven uh, pieces of paper out of this 12, but you have to cut it a certain way to get those four pieces. So here we go, we're gonna go we're on the five, we're gonna go up to the five. There's my five. I'm gonna turn the paper counterclockwise. I'm gonna stay, go back to the five up here. So make sure you stay on the five here. And then here, you're gonna to go to the five. We're gonna to go to the five. It's gonna give you your first sheet of um, five by seven. There's your first one. All right, counterclockwise again on the five. Move this down on the five back up to the five it's going to give me my second one 
Now I have two sheets of the five by sevens. Counterclockwise, go back to the five. And then we'll go all the way up this time. It's gonna give me three and four. And one small square left over. There's my square. And there are my four sheets. And we're gonna take one of these sheets to make, to do the embroidery with. For this part, you're gonna need your embroidery hoop. You're gonna need your tear away stabilizer. One of your pieces of paper that we cut. Your template. Um, I'm gonna talk about your, your needle and then some painter's tape if you have it. All right, and a pencil. So now I'm gonna take my embroidery hoop. I have hooped my stabilizer, and I'm going to take this here and just make some dots real quickly. Just so you can line it up a little bit better. All right, so I have my dots. I'm gonna take my piece of paper, and I think I want the elephant to be this direction so I'm going to make sure that I have it lined up with the dots here I'm going to take a piece of paper I'm sorry I'm going to take a little bit of this painter's tape I'm just gonna get a little bit and I'm gonna do the corners uh -oh. make sure line it up In between those dots and I'm just gonna put a little bit and I'm not gonna actually go around all corners because I want to make sure it doesn't tear too much all right <clears throat> now that I have it there can you use spray adhesive you sure can but it when I tried that it tore the paper no it made it sticky it made it sticky if I find that one I think that was in my rib let me see if I can get one yeah, it was this one. The spray adhesive, it still left it sticky. So yeah, I did some trial and errors today and yeah, I did not like that. So you probably could cover it up with some paper and do it that way. That might work, but I'm going with the painter tape for this one since I like it the best. All right, now let's discuss the needles. To, um, when you do the design, it will punch, punch your holes in your paper. And if you have a smaller needle, um, I'm using the 16 on my machine. I did try the 7511 and it was totally fine. Actually, did I use it on? I used it on one of these and I don't remember which one. Either this one or this one. And there's not like a huge difference. There wasn't a huge difference, but you could see some holes in, in the paper. So I, I did switch over to the 60. And the hole is a little bit smaller. Don't have to switch, but um, if you find that you don't like it with your 7511, get your 60. All right, let's go over to the machine. This right here is what you'll need to move in order to change the needle. You just stick this tool here. There's a groove there. Turn it towards you. And then you'll be able to pull out whatever needle you have there. This is my 60, so I'm going to put it back. What I'm going to do slide it in here. And on the needles, the back side is flat. The front side is round. So I'm going to put that in here. The flat side should be facing toward the back. The round side should be facing you. And then take this here to tighten it up. All right, so now I'm going to thread this real quick. Thread it back. I'm using white paper and red thread. And I saw um, somewhere in one of the groups, I don't know what group, but they're taking their, their strings and they're placing it in a jar. And then they're taking them and doing something with them at the end of the year. So I thought that was pretty cool. They've been putting them in ornaments and such. So I have started that today. All right, <clears throat> let's get on with embroidering this paper. All right, let me switch on over to my new file. I made the elephant a little bit bigger. 
All right, let me go find it. I am my file, looking for a red elephant. There it is, set. I am going to change my tension. Let me trace it real quick. Okay, that's a nice size. All right. Let me click embroidery and I'm changing my tension as always. I'm on three and this um, elephant says it's going to take two minutes. All right, so here we go. Oh, put this down. and take it off the hood, put the seat away. And then this is my painter's tape. I'm just gonna pull it a little bit, be gentle. I don't feel anything. You probably could do all four corners, but I just didn't want to chance it. All right, so now I'm going to turn it over and take the stabilizer off and be gentle with this part. Normally with, with caraway, you just kind of rip it, but you are ripping on paper. Okay. Seam ripper is one of my favorite things. You can go in and clean up if you want. You don't really have to, because you're really going to cover this up. But I know there are perfections out there. They're going to want to clean up these little strands. And whatnot. And this one here is all. <clears throat> this one here has a lot going on because of my thread jam. Alright. I didn't have it on my machine, right? So there's our card for that. And now we're going to put it on the top of another card. My other two pieces of. 12 by 12 of these. I'm going to make this one where the, the elephant goes on top of, and then this one will be the envelope. So the card is 5 by 7, and the one that we're going to put it on top of is 5.5 by 7.5. So we'll need that size. The crazy me decided, okay, you're going to have to put some white there. So my suggestion is to find some paper that has white on the back side. So we're gonna, this is for my line sister. So I'm gonna send this in. We have a saying called All of My Love anyway. So this works perfect. So let me cut this real quick. I'm gonna speed this up and I'm gonna get back to this part here. do the tape you're learning with me as much as I did this all day today and I'm still learning 
Learn as you go, Erica. Okay. Here's that one. I think that is hanging over a little bit. All right, now we're going to stick this on top of here, center it as much as you can, as best you can. Now, I don't have to learn from my mistakes. You can make sure. Okay, well, look at this. All right, it's going to my line system. Just make sure when you do your paper, you look on the back side and see if there's anything there. And that was there. My line system will be okay. <laughs> All right, so that is that. Now we're going to do the envelope real quick. For the envelope piece, you're going to need your punch tool. You're going to need um, a cutter. You're going to need some tape. And that's it. All right. So, and your paper. <laughs> and your paper. You're going to need your paper. I'm going to use this one right here. I think it's very pretty. <clears throat> and on my punch tool here, th this is where my uh, scoring tool goes. It says I'm doing a five, uh, five by seven card which is on this five and a half by seven and a half. So that's what size that needs to be five and a half by seven and a half. So I look here, five and a half by seven and a half is a 10 and a half by 10 and a half paper. All right, so we're gonna do that first. We're gonna cut it to 10 and a half by 10 and a half. Remember if you have some extra on the side, just make sure you cut that. Um, I'm going to go with 10 and a half. You're gonna get a strip and do another ten and a half. My child is blasting his music. He's in the shower. It's right beside me. Alright, there is my ten and a half paper. There are my two strips. I'm gonna put it to the side. And then I'm gonna put this to the side because I me personally I'm gonna use this again. Some people do not, but I am. I'm gonna show you how. How I use that. Alright, and then also on your punch too, it says to do um, do it on, let's see, 10 times do it on the four, five by seven and a half, let's see here, four and a half. We're going to the four and a half mark. So your four and a half mark is, there's four, there's your half. We're going to go there, we're going to punch a score here. So I'm going to use my, my, my score tool here, put my paper on the four and a half, just for that very first time, you don't need to do it anymore, and then we turn it so I can punch it better. All right, so I'm going to punch and then score. I'm gonna put my scoring tool inside here, like right in, I'm gonna just, and you can feel it, it's right there, that score line. If you, okay, there's my. If you have white on the other side, it works better for you seeing it. But I've done these all day today, so I know what my line is. And then you're gonna take that tip right there and you're gonna put the score line, put it on the score line. And then you're gonna punch again, and then you're gonna score again. And then you're gonna turn counterclockwise, put it on the punch line. I'm sorry, on the score line. Punch and score again. Same one. And it will extend out some. Don't worry about that. On two of them, it will, and two of them, it won't. Put it back on. Put it back on the score line. Punch again. This will be your last punch. And you'll just do that until you finish going all the way around the paper. And if you turn it over, you can see that it has an envelope there for you. <clears throat> We're gonna put this away if you don't wanna use the uh, rounded tool. So let's see. If this is my top, you depend. You decide what's going to be your top. Wherever your top is, you can round that off by using the. It says on here, round corners with reverse punch, and that's if you want to. 
I am gonna round only this one though. So you stick it in here and then you press down. It's gonna give you a rounded edge. All right. So now that I know, let me put this away. All right. So now I'm going to take the um, edges here and I have a score line and I'm just gonna press it down. And I'm gonna take this one. And the reason I don't round these here is because it's gonna be hidden. I mean, if you want to round, you can, but I think that's just more work that I don't need to do. <laughs> so there we go. Now, some people leave this like this or they can round it. I actually cut it off and that's why I said I need my cutter again. <clears throat> I just want it to go somewhere in here. So I'm gonna cut that much off. And you could quite possibly just leave it how it is. You don't need to do this extra step. But to each his own, you see? I like that look much better. So now I'm going to take my tape, my double-sided tape, and I'm going to tape this and this. So when I close it up, it'll be taped together. So now we go to If you need to measure, measure. If not, eyeball it like I'm doing right now. And just do a piece on each side. And make sure you put that tape right in the middle spot. Try to go to the edge. Like I said, this seam ripper is like my favorite, one of my favorite things that I must have because it just helped me correct that. All right, and then press it down. Okay, I didn't cut off all that. All right, press it down, and then this here. You could close it with a cute sticker or something. All right. So now I can open this up. Here's my card that I'm going to send my sister. I could write something here. I'm going to slide this in. And voila! An envelope and your embroidered card is ready. If you have any questions, let me know. This is Erica Shillies with Erica May. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And it's upside down. How be damn? <laughs> it's directional. Lord.